Last month, we found the best budget baseball glove under $200. Today, we're gonna find the best budget glove under $100. Budget, budget. Growing up, my parents got me one new glove and it was like a Rawlings Bowl something and it was like 90 bucks. I actually loved that glove. I thought it was really cool, it was pretty solid, but here's our problem. Gloves within this price range can vary a ton. Some of these are gonna be decent, some of these are gonna be trash. I think these are below $50. Yeah, none of these are over $50. I mean, realistically, why would you spend $80 on a bad glove if you can spend $80 on a good glove? We're gonna buy these. They're like $90 combined. Capital C cheap, baby. Hello. Can you grab a package of shredded cheese? Just like yellow cheese? Is that a thing? Yellow cheese. Look at that, 100 bucks even. Well, I guess it's not $100 even, because it's $100. <laughs> Whoa, my slurp sounded just like Ryan Chan. Okay, we're actually heading to my house right now. I texted JustGloves.com. I said, hey, I need gloves under 100 bucks. I'm pretty sure the package is currently on my doorstep. Let's go find out. I love Just Gloves. They literally send me gloves. I just text them. I'm like, hey, send me these. And they just say, okay. And they always give me stickers too with them, so. All right, let's see what we got. Was that impressive? All right, let's check. Oh, it looks good. I told you. Stickers. Okay, we have one, two, Three, four, five. Let's see. So we have a Marucci, a Wilson, two Mizunos, and a Rawlings. We have a ton of gloves to break in. Just to be clear, I'm going two in the pinky with everything. So there's actually nothing in the index finger. Don't worry, I'm gonna make this quick. We're starting with the Wilson A700. Let's go. This is the Rawlings Sandlot series. Definitely one of the best looking gloves we have today. The Marucci Acadia series. Honestly, it's pretty ugly. Not like the colorway, just, it doesn't look good. Dude, this is a pillow. Wilson A450, this is one of our Walmart gloves. There's like, not a single piece of real leather on this glove. The Mizuno Select 9, this is by far the most real leather we have today. And I found out, this is $110 on a lot of websites, but on JustGloves.com, 99 so I guess we'll let it slide but kind of sketch definitely thought I wasn't recording Mizuno franchise this one has a little bit of a goofy shape but it's kind of growing on me I like it a lot for some reason last but not least another Walmart club the Rawlings select almost there I need to do this one a little bit more. Before you stop recording, let me ask you a question. Sir, yes sir. After breaking in all the gloves, what feels the worst so far? <laughs> uh, definitely the two Walmart gloves. Plus, surprisingly, the Marucci. It is not off to a hot start at all. Let's make sure we show them each glove because there's just massive differences between these things. So to start off, we have the Wilson A700. Definitely somewhere in between real and fake leather, if that makes sense. It's just not great. I've also seen much worse. Scooch on down to the Wilson A450, and I've never seen more fake leather in my life. Just 100% synthetic. <laughs> 100% synthetic, nothing real on this glove whatsoever. Not impressed. This is the Rawlings Select. This is actually Debbie's top pick. I just want you to okay. tell me which glove you think is better. Hmm. I like this one. Any reason why? It's softer. It seems like easier to hold in the, it seems like the leather's better. Okay, that's all I needed. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you're right. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Boom, what's your name? Debbie. Debbie, thank you Debbie. You're welcome. You're the bomb. <laughs> thank you Debbie. I actually agree with her so far. Not out of all the gloves though, just the Walmart gloves. This is the Marucci Acadia. This thing is a pillow. Like it's just super weird, super thick and fluffy and I don't know, I have hope for it though. The Rolling Sandlot. I don't know if you can tell, but this easily has the best form out of any glove. Best shape, best pattern. Very high hopes for this thing. This is the Mizuno franchise. So far, this is what I'm calling a sleeper. I mean, this thing's 75 bucks, but I don't know guys. I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> Damn, whatever, that's good now. Mizuno Select 9, kind of a cheater glove because apparently it's more than $100 on some websites, but this is by far the most leather, like true real leather. Um, kind of a cheat code so far. We might have to kick it out. Uh, now that I think about it, we probably should kick it out. Hear me out. So 
JustGloves.com actually mentioned to me that once this sells out, they're not restocking it. Like it's just a glove that's no longer being produced. So I think I'm gonna take ground balls with it, but realistically, it doesn't fit the point of this video. All right, Zach, review them. Best baseball glove under $100. Give me, this one's a everything's falling apart. This one's a naughty. You sure you're naughty? No. No. <laughs> no. This one. Let's, let me put a handy in it. Yeah. Yeah, this guy. Of course, the one that's the most expensive. <laughs> <laughs> the most expensive and the most true leather. That's the thing, is like when it comes to baseball gloves, you just can't deny it. Like, they need to be leather. They have to be leather. Disappointing answer, get out. We don't want you here. We're gonna start with like the lowest priced ones, aka Walmart gloves. Wilson A450. Let's get it. It's, I think this is easily the lightest glove we have. This thing's incredible. Lee Light. Yeah, I'm not complimenting it. Yeah, be careful there. <laughs> This material's even like a little bit slick, like on the ball. Like I fielded it and it almost shot up and out. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's so bad. It has a super awkward shape. The thumb feels terrible, but it is, it's super, super light. So I, I mean, I honestly think that's a little bit of a positive. Yeah, I can feel the glove. Like these aren't hard ground balls, but when I catch it, it's so light and so cheap that it kind of like pulls the glove away from me. All right, Rawlings Select. Okay, this is noticeably, okay, that was only one ground ball. Feels 110% different than the Wilson A450, and these are the same price, same store. Let's go, a few more. Hmm. So far, I think it's a good different. Like, yes, they both feel very cheap, but the shape, the way the ball sticks into here, the material, material, material that they're using on the palm, so far everything is better than the A450. So if you're Walmart shopping, I think I'm gonna tell you to get the Rawlings Select over the 450. Hmm, snow cone. Let's go, Rawlings Select, A4, oh, I said the wrong thing. Honestly though, not that bad of an experience. I won't, I, I'll keep this one up here. I won't throw it over there. This is the Mizuno franchise. I have high hopes for this thing. It doesn't have like an incredible shape, but it feels really solid. Like, it definitely has that like foam feel of like youth gloves. I'm pretty impressed. So for how light this is, so far it's really durable. Like it's not getting bullied at all. I don't know what they did to make that happen. Like, let me just show you. You know how a ton, like every youth glove has something pad. They call it something. Shock pad, lightning pad, female pad. But this one here like clearly makes a difference in actual durability. Like it feels very solid where that pad is so anyway so far i do like this thing heat test is going to be the thing that decides whether it sucks or not though wilson a700 this is officially like kind of leather like cheap bad but leather yeah so like this th there's a big jump up this feels more like a baseball glove that like we're all kind of familiar with oh that was bad defense Sports. Something feels like when I feel, let me show you. When I feel the leather and the glove like this, it feels solid. But when you squeeze it, it feels trash. Like it feels really bad. I think it's the wrist. Like they didn't, I don't know, it's just low quality, but that's also good for like the youth guys. You don't, you don't want to have like a super, super stiff wrist that they can't break in. So I don't know. I don't really know what to even think. I don't know if I like it or not. I've already said it. This looks so far, before ground balls, like the best pattern here. Meaning the shape, thumbs up. Rolling Sandlot, uh, oh, Rolling Sandlot. Rolling Sandlot. I did not move on this turf. It was like, poof. 
came out of my hand before I threw it. It just kind of like fluttered away. It's not, <laughs> did you say it's not even a good throwing glove? We're gonna make that one of like our categories. Throw ability, kick ability. We'll bring Jeremy in. Jeremy, if you're watching this, you're our new kicking guy. Yeah, okay. I think I can confidently say, not just because it's familiar like it's Rawlings, this just has the best shape. Wide heel, open, still easy to close. Like even youth kids will be able to close this. Just super user friendly. Rawlings Sandlot, so far awesome. I think I like doing no shoes. It feels nice. Mizuno Select 9, the cheat sheet. That doesn't make sense. I misread it. Suck, stupid idiot. <laughs> the throw was off by a million feet. I think the only thing this glove has going for it is that it's like real leather. The shape and like web choice, it's just it's a pretty awkward build. Let me put it this way. If I was about to play in a game like right now, I'm not using this. I'm either using the Mizuno franchise or the Rawlings Sandlot. So that brings us to our last glove, the one that I'm most skeptical of by far, $99. Feels like a pillow, looks like a pillow. Marucci Acadia, hopefully it proves us wrong. Oh, I'm suck. Well, that was the glove's fault. Whoa, the ball just came out. That was weird. So yeah, I am wearing it too in the Vinky, but like, look at that. It just like fits <laughs> right in there. That's actually, that's weird. That's actually a perfect example, I guess, of what I'm concerned about. Give me a couple more and then I'll say it. So it feels like a funnel. The way that the glove closes, this is all squishy and, and, and like soft, but it's not holding up. Like it's quickly breaking down and breaking in. But what's happening is it's creating this shape where the glove closes like this. Does that make sense? The bottom is closing, the top is not. Your average kid playing baseball doesn't know how to fix that problem. They're gonna break it in and then forever have a funnel of a glove. So, not good. Let's do the heat test. This is gonna be what like tells us what is good and what is bad. The heat test with budget gloves makes a massive difference. All right. It's time for the heat test. It is wet, kind of chilly, and there's a lot of leaves everywhere. It's spooky season and our bucket's breaking. Look at this. Whoa, my gosh. Just like, <laughs> it's terrible. Sorry, dad. And he watches all of our videos. That's not good. <laughs> Normally we do something around like 70 miles an hour. That's all you really need to figure out if the glove is, you know, durable. Today, it's just gonna be slowed down a little bit. 62, it's hanging around 62, 63. Uh, we're not trying to break our Walmart gloves, but if they do break, oh well, let's go. So the heat test is like by far the thing that tells us whether these gloves suck or not. So we are gonna give this a couple, but like I said, this no longer really counts for the race to see what's the best budget glove, but that's so sad. That was satisfying, I don't know why. I don't love the shape. Um, it's by far the best leather out of any of these gloves. It's the most true to a baseball glove, but like I said, this doesn't even count. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. It's a Marucci Acadia. No clue if I'm saying that right. Here's the thing. I'm the most nervous about this glove by far because it's the most expensive and so far it's felt like pretty bad. The pillow glove. Oh, it's so nutsy. <laughs> That felt so bad. It like, it, first of all, it kind of bullied the glove or whatever, but you know how it has, I forgot about it. I forgot about the hole at the top of the glove. It literally like rolled to the top and I like snow coned it. Okay, that was like perfect pocket. So there wasn't anything that weird feeling. Another one, perfect pocket. That felt good. Okay. Holy sh Okay, I think here's one of the secrets. If you try to close the glove even like this, we have this massive baseball sized hole. If I decide to go one hinge and close like this, we don't really have that problem and it makes the pocket feel much better. So anyway, let's take a few intentionally just like this. One hinge, maybe it'll help the situation. 
it's making a pretty big difference. I can, uh, I can just like catch the ball normal if I'm closing like up. Literally one more, just one. You can't, you can't ask someone to pay $99 for this. That's all I'll say right now. If you were to put a price on it, how much would you charge for it? I think the most I would feel comfortable charging is like $60. The Rawlings Sandlot Series. As a reminder, best shape slash pattern by far. I have very high hopes for this thing. Um, if it can pass the heat test, this is great. Early on feels good, but let's go a few more. Mm, me not likey. I think it's getting bullied a little bit. Dang it, guys, I, I don't think it's very good. It looks the best, both like visually, like I think it looks awesome. The pattern is great, but the leather itself, like I think it's getting bullied quite a bit. Like this thing will get super floppy and have a ton of stretch to it is my problem right now. Two more, calling it, we gotta move on. And that's pretty disappointing. That one felt good, but that was like perfectly the pocket, perfect. Ooh, that one almost shot out. One thing that I'm noticing, all of these cheap gloves just, don't have that much uh, grip on the actual ball. Like the balls are just kind of flying out really quickly. I think like real true leather just has better grip on it. Just an interesting takeaway. There's another one that just, they, want, they all want to pop out. All right, one more, one more, one more and we're done. Dude, I have such mixed feelings. The last like three I took felt like super good. This is hard, like I have to make a decision. I just don't know yet. The Wilson A700. Let's do it. Yeah, it's funny. Just as we go down and get into the cheaper gloves, there's a huge difference between like how much of the glove actually gets bullied. As they get lighter and cheaper, there's just so much, I don't know, like recoil almost. I don't like the way this A700 feels. Like it feels pretty cheap in use, but I mean, so far it's doing like solid. Definitely performing better than I thought it would. Let's go a couple more. <laughs> oh! Like the ball definitely moved, but I was just being lazy. <laughs> oh, worst glove, cause it hurt me. <laughs> pretty pumped about this one. This is the Mizuno franchise. I think this is gonna be our underdog of the day. At least that's my hope. This has less kickback, like less recoil, less bullying going on than any of the gloves here. Possibly even less than the like true leather Mizuno. When you squared up on the pocket, I mean, there is no pushback whatsoever. <laughs> I like it a lot. That's a, let's keep going. Hey, that ball wasn't even caught perfect. Like, it rolled straight into the pocket. It's, I don't even need to take any more with it. Really? It's so good. Dude, like, this glove is performing so well for the heat test. $75 glove. The, I am so curious what they use. Oh, my fingernail paint, whatever. I'm so curious what they use for this. Cause like the rest of the glove doesn't feel that great. It's super average. It's a normal $75 glove. This right in here. Wow. All right, I wanna show you guys really quick. I think there's a pretty, pretty big difference between these two. Give me just like 30 seconds of your time here. I just noticed this. I don't know why I didn't see this before. It's like an elastic band. Also my kid painted my fingernails, sorry. It, it literally doesn't feel like a baseball glove. Like whatever this material is, I'm a, I, I, I do not like, like it at all. Let's go with the Rawlings Select, our other Walmart glove. It, yes, it feels cheap. It is a Walmart glove, but if you need to shop for really, really cheap, like 45 bucks, get the Rawlings Select over that like cheap, cheap, cheap Wilson stuff. It's a pretty big difference if you're just comparing those two. I'm gonna try to make this quick. Mizuno Select 9. 
got kicked out. We don't care about that anymore. Our two Walmart gloves. Thankfully, we had a very clear winner. Avoid the Wilson A450 at all costs. Hated it. I guess what that means is one of our categories for winning is actually just Walmart gloves. Our next two awards are actually gonna be best glove overall plus biggest disappointment. I'm gonna start with the biggest disappointment. Hands down, easily, the Marucci Acadia. Pretty goofy glove. Let me show you this. If I pinch it and let go, it like stays there. I, I don't know what that means. This has the weirdest leather. The interior of this glove is potentially cotton candy. So it wins, biggest disappointment, not a fan. Everything about this glove screams cheap. And let's be clear, I think this is a bad glove for youth and for adults. We now have three gloves, one of which is the best glove out here. <laughs> that wasn't very exciting. It costs $75 and it's the best. That makes me happy. This thing's just stupid. I mean, it, it, it's hard to explain. It's not like it's wildly better than the other gloves. The leather options here though, aren't that much different. The Rawlings generally feels nicer. I just don't think I've ever seen a glove under $100 be as durable as this is. The shape on this thing is somewhat mediocre. The glove itself is actually pretty dang light. It's extremely comfortable like most of these gloves are, but the performance and ground balls and the heat test are just incredible. Mizuno is just pretty good with budget gloves because the Mizuno MVP Prime is also one of our top budget gloves and it's only like 125 bucks. Just a round of applause for the Mizuno franchise. $75 and it's outperforming the gloves that are just under $100. If you need a glove under 100 bucks, adult or youth, this is a really, really good option. This is our king, king of the video, ball glove king. Genuinely surprised by that. If you're okay with spending a little bit more money, I made a $200 budget glove video, go check it out. It's a good one.